I wanted to make this video about dating in elementary school, but the thing is that you really don't date in elementary school. You're like six years old and you're still learning how to tie your shoes and your multiples of two. How are you supposed to understand the content of a stable relationship? I mean, most of the time, dating in elementary school is an exchange of highs, and that's about it. You've both just mutually decided that you have enough in common that now it's only appropriate to form a partnership and affection. And then lunch rolls around and that freaking rich kid Bobby shows up and he's like, Hey babe, I'm on back to apple slices and caramel. I can't even know how to spell caramel. And you've been dating this girl for about an hour and a half now, but you know you can't compete because your mom packed carrots and ranch. And you hate ranch. relationships. I don't really do them a whole lot. I mean, as cute as I am, I just don't have much luck with it. But this was a different story when I attended my first school. It was a pretty small school with my entire class consisting of about 20 kids. In third grade, my school decided that it would be fun and appropriate to host a Valentine's Day dance for a bunch of kids. Don't get me wrong, I have nothing against Valentine's Day. I just feel that it's suited to an older audience when they can understand the concept of dating and relationships to a more mature extent. I guess that doesn't mean children can't also celebrate it, but I just feel like telling 8-9 to nine year olds to get a date is a bit beyond overkill for this sort of scene. But sure enough, I got a date. And I remember the night her, let's call her Kate, and her father came to my house. Her father looked at me and said, Son, here's $20. I want you to get pictures while you're there. I honestly don't think he should have trusted me, an 8 year old that he's never met until that night with his money. But I'm like, yeah alright, and we go to the dance. It was probably as awkward as you can imagine. No one wanted to break the ice because we were all too nervous to make a move. But gradually, Kate started to go out there on the dance floor. I eventually asked Kate to dance, which she refused several times, and I figured I just wasn't going to get her to budge. She hardly even talked, and looking back now, I see that she probably didn't want to go with me in the first place. Which is cool. I mean, I don't care. It's fine. I, this is just like 10 years ago. It doesn't matter to me. So I got up and went to the dance floor and focused myself around other kids who were dancing alone. I was unaware of how to actually dance, so I stuck to what I knew, the robot. I ended up just talking to other people for the duration of the evening. I did end up buying pictures with the $20 Kate's father gave me, but I took them with another girl. So I just got up and went to the dance floor and poked- <clears throat>